has to be inside. You need to still need to go in. So we know he in the house. He just Find a way to his doorstep. All right, all right. No, I got you. I got you. Hey, whatever. All right. I overheard somebody talking yesterday about Blue Monday. Do you know what Blue Monday is? Oh, yeah. Blue Monday is basically third Monday of the year. And there's this notion that it's the saddest day of the year because by then everyone has welcomed their New Year's resolution. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. DJ Boogie on 94.2. I hope y'all won some money this weekend. If you were counting on the lotto, then that's a no go. No jackpot winning means there's more money in the pot for Tuesday's drawing. But if you engage in some football action, then you may be in luck. The Las Vegas Gamblers kept things interesting. After getting ran over the first three quarters, the Gamblers scored 18 unanswered in the fourth quarter to force overtime. But the miracle ended there. Larry Bulldog was putting an end to the gambler's season with quarterback L.C. Williams delivering a 42-yard bomb to Jasper Walden. The five-and-a-half point favorites defeated the gamblers 34-28. Let's kick to our meteorologist, Terry, with a quick update, y'all. Thanks, DJ Boogie. It's a snow day. Expect heavy snowfall throughout the metropolitan. Stay tuned for tomorrow's forecast. Do sunny skies appear to be on the horizon for Tuesday? Stay with us at 94.2. DJ Boogie, back to you. You are listening to 94.2. We'll be back after these messages. Hey guys, it's Zahara here. When I'm not busy recording records, posing on red carpets, or acting on film sets, I enjoy sports action. To say I have a lot on the line is an understatement. If you want to win big, you have to bet big. And that's why I book my bets on Crunch Time Wagers. Use my promo code Zahara Wins to match up to $100 on your first deposit. It's crunch time. Download the app today. Whether you want a face-to-face with a friend, a virtual group meeting, or simply leave a video message, Virtual Combo has it all. It's always better to see who you are talking to. Get Virtual Combo today. Jamarcus Atkins, you've got mail. Subject, the North Chronicle staff writer. Hi, Jamarcus. Thank you for coming in to interview with us several times. We are very impressed with your work as it's second to none. I wish I had your resume when I was young. Do note, I enjoyed reading your writing samples more than I typically do in this process. We've had some internal discussions. While your qualifications are impressive, we decided to go with applicants with more experience, whose experiences align closer to what we're looking for. 
Best of luck on your job search. Don't give up. Cheers, Karen White. have 64 messages. Message one. Jay Money. Hey, man, look, it's Russ. So, about the cash. Look, you know I'd front you. You know I got you. But, I, and the wife, she bugging, man. Like, she's saying I need to make our vacation the top priority. But, I'll tell you what. If you need help next month, I got... Message deleted. Message two. Yo! It's Bruce's cousin, Rodney. Man, you better pay up before we come get you, punk. Message deleted. Message three. Knock, knock. It's Bruce, not Lee. But the more important one. The one you owe money to when LVG didn't cover week nine against Chicago. Where's my money? Message deleted. Message 11. Hello, Jim Marcus. I hope you're doing well. While you're living your best life, now would be a good time to pay the rent. It's John. This is Strike 2. You don't want to know what's going to happen with Strike 3. Message deleted. Message 12. hi -yo! It's Carter Michael from Globe News. Jim Marcus, please discard the last message. Uh, completely dialed the wrong number. Practical joke. Uh, we're, we're still vetting candidates and we're doing our due diligence. We can only select one candidate for this role. Cheers! Message 14. Who's your guy? Well, I got you hired like I said I would. I told you. The interview was just a technicality to fulfill requirements in our quote-unquote equal opportunity quotas. Let's get drinks tonight, Jimmy boy. Message 39 Hi, it's Tracy from Stefan's Law Firm. Yeah, we're sorry, but unfortunately, we can't move forward with your discrimination claim versus the Hudson Daily. Message deleted. Message 47. Hi, this is Lenora from Bridgewater Financial. I'm calling for Jamarcus Atkins. Please give us a call back to discuss invoice number. Message deleted. Message 61. Hi, Jamarcus. This is Karen White from the North Chronicle. We should have an update to you by Monday in regards to your status for the staff writer position. Message deleted. This is why Mama should have left you at the orphanage. Come up with your next family. 
Marcus, always remember this. You can be anything you want. Miss Tyson, you tripping. His own parents didn't even believe that. Antonio! That's why they put him up for adoption. Floyd! You two, <laughs> detention. You are so useless. I regret taking you in. You are so useless. Why me? Why didn't they pay me with another child? Listen here, intruder. You're only here for a few days. So you better keep your retort mouth shut. And don't interfere into any of this household affairs. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? We don't. Your mom should have aborted you. Bro, you ain't got no car, no job. Bro, you're lame. Honey, Stacy don't do no scrubs. Holler at me when he have some wheels in a white picket fence. Stacy can't date a man she's with Morbin. Stacy is no one's sugar mama. Boy, bye. That's the problem with you kids. Jeez, you too picky and sedity. A job is a job. Get up and do the work. You haven't accomplished anything, young blood. Don't be afraid to get a job at the post office and be a janitor. Where I could get those more sex workers. But it's pretty hard now. Why do you want to work for the man anyway? Now, what you need to do is get a job at the Cedric establishment. My clothing consignment business could use a salesman. But you gotta get a haircut first. You gotta look presentable when you're selling merchandise out of my garage. You're a wreck looking for some place to happen. You're an absolute mess. Get lost, doofus. Nobody likes you. No one. Bro, you trash! Slouch! Buster. You's an idiot! Scumbag! Scumbag! Slime by Worker! Pissant! Chump! You ass. ass! You're spam! Flap, 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 Slouch! Mooch! Mooch! Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Are you deaf? Are you deaf? Or do you hear, did you hear what I just said? Are you deaf? Or did you hear what I just said? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Are you deaf? 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 You have reached the suicide hotline. Your call will not be recorded. Please wait patiently while we connect you to a specialist. Do you think you'd be able to put it down? It 
it's uh, it's uh, it's it's only blanks. It's only blanks. It's only blanks. So it's only blanks. What? What? What's your name? Taraji. To Marcus. Do you think you'd be able to put the gun down? Do you think you'd be able to put it down? You a wreck. Look for some place to happen. No, no wreck. Please stay on the line. We can send someone to you. No, no. No visitors. No visitors. I'm just want to talk. I don't it's okay. To you can talk to me. If you want to. Are you there? Hello? Hello? Jamarcus, are you still there? Yes. Yes. I'm still here. Is your name Swahili? As a matter of fact, it is. It means faith and hope. It doesn't have to be. Can you take some deep breaths? Now close your eyes. Think of what makes you happy, or rather things that keep you calm. Actually, what is your happy place? Sorry, you don't have to answer that. I was running by darkness. Are you listening? Yes, I'm here. There's no light. There's no ladder. And there's no one to help. I'm all alone. I'm all alone. Are you religious? I'm a believer. I just don't know what to start. I can't tell you what to do, but there's a scripture I want to share with you. You want hope? Well, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. You also talked about feeling lonely. Isolation in the pit, right? Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged.
basketball action was sensational last night. I mean, who saw that New Orleans upset coming? I know Vegas didn't. Hey, Jamarcus, open up. Jamarcus. Hi, Jamarcus Atkins. It's Destiny Dawson, the news director at the Golden Frontier. Jamarcus, open up. I know you in there. I just returned from maternity leave and have been digging through emails to find your contact information. Who is it? Christopher, I'm your neighbor. Who? We're more than impressed with your qualifications and would love to offer you the role as our senior correspondent. Please give us a call back when you can. Are you Jamarcus Atkins? Yeah. Better pay up before we come teach you, punk. Where's my money? Best of luck on your job search. Don't forget. Now would be a good time to pay the rent. It's job. This is strike two. You don't want to know what's going to happen with strike three. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. We tried calling you earlier, but we couldn't reach you. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. I had a few questions I'd like for you to answer. Is that right? Okay. All right, back. Good evening, I'm Daryl Harris. Tonight at 10, we continue our special Mental Health Awareness Month coverage. We have Whitney Parker on the scene with a special report. Whitney. Can three digits save a life? A civilian contemplated taking his own life in this very same apartment on January 22nd, 2024. He called the suicide hotline. Find out how a teller operator sharing a scripture with a caller turned a life around. More on Tele26 when we return.